theoretically one would like that all the fish uh, a species uh, have a chance to reproduce and the spawning ratio is 20% or more. So that is what uh, WWF has been uh, conducting together with fisheries since the, the survey has been initiated in 2014 uh, by Dr. Jeremy Prince who came in in 2014 who is uh, the, the founder of this particular survey uh, he's been studying lots of uh, fisheries around the world and uh, this is uh, a contribution to the, the way forward for INSO fisheries management so the WWF took it on board in 2014 worked with uh, Mother which is of Bono uh, Lambe Kavu, Madhuwata, Ndaketi, Sasa and Mali. So these four districts uh, and uh, Banua they have only one fishing ground, only one Gulinguli. Uh, so that's why uh, they are the Gulinguli Dokobata. And uh, Dr. Blef piloted the survey with the fisheries department. And uh, since last year, uh, there's been interest from the fisheries department to employ or adapt the survey. Uh, to assist or uh, complement the marine resource inventory, M MRI, which they normally do, and the market service. So in one way, this particular survey, the SPR survey, can contribute to insufficiency management for Fiji and the Pacific, is that it will actually uh, give us back what the particular species uh, fishery, what is the minimum size limit that should be out there. Uh, so by having a community squad the data and it being uh, uh, compiled by top of the fisheries and actually it goes up until the policy level and when they come out, this is the new minimum size limit, the community know the reason uh, instead of we just giving them this is the size limit, you fall. But now when after Tahua, we've done Modwata, we'll be moving to the Konrove and fisheries has already started in Serua and uh, also to the Eastern Division. Once all of this uh, information comes in, gets fed into government uh, policy decision making, and once uh, the Department of Fisheries say this is the size limit, our communities they know the reason why that particular uh, centimeter is there. And by not only size limit, this particular survey will also tell the communities uh, this particular fish is under 20 million. It will not be able to re replace itself in the near future. So what is it the communities are uh, technically advised to do is to, to pick one species and they give it a test. So obviously the test won't be for the group of fishery or for other commercial or egg grade species, eh? we are just asking them to just take one species and give it a test. Give it one year, don't fish it. And when they see the, the witness what happens, uh, the increase in size or increase in numbers, then they can move on to the, the bigger fishes and from there they can start placing minimum size. So actually it's a bottom up approach uh, instead of a top down approach. And they will measure the length to get the composition of, of how the lengths are in terms of a particular species that has uh, been targeted. So they will measure the length and then they will cut open the fish uh, on the normal cutting, the way we cut fish. And then they will look for the gonads. So the gonads, uh, they differ between the male and the female. So through training and awareness to the communities, they will be able to distinguish which one is the male, which one is the female, and before that, whether that particular fish is uh, an adult or still uh, immature. So they will collect all of those information in the form of a data sheet, and they will uh, the, it will be provided to fisheries and of the bluff, and we will enter the data, and then we will analyze, and then we will present it back to them uh, in regards to that particular uh, species that they have uh, surveyed, the minimum size limit uh, as a result of analysis and the spawning potential ratio, that, that percentage or that level of that particular fish at the moment. It doesn't matter how big the fish is or how small the fish is, we cannot be able to tell whether it is matured or not. Once we cut the fish, then we'll be able to 
to differentiate eh? um, the fish maturity and the, the, the sex of the fish. Um, and also, uh, I really like it that we were able to collect some data and uh, we have entered it. And uh, another part is the analyzation of, the, of this data using this Excel. And uh, the data um, I will be gathering later on, I will analyze it and then I'll send it through to Dr. Jeremy. So the data we collected this morning were both collected by uh, trained uh, fisheries and uh, Tahu Agungul committee members. Uh, we've been able to straight through, went through and enter the data into the database. And already we are see, already talking about how it will go when we actually do the community workshop and the communities actually collect the data. So it was a good. Uh, Experience having to have the support and lead, leadership from fisheries and also the Tawa Wungul Committee uh, in uh, helping us uh, have a holistic approach to, to this survey. Uh, one which is uh, easy to, to collect and at the end of the day the results will be easily understood as well by both fisheries, uh, manage, management committees. Uh, and also our fishermen and the communities as well.